the EU Commission chief will include a flurry of proposed new economic agreements in his a landmark State of the Union speech next month as Eurocrats look to move forward without the UK. The laser-like focus on global trade, which was touted by many Brexiteers as a key reason for leaving the bloc, will be seen as a thinly veiled rebuke of British criticisms of the EU. Theresa May has championed a vision for a global Britain beyond 2019, able to strike its own economic packs around the globe once free from the sclerotic clutches of Brussels. Eurocrats have been stung by the suggestion that they were holding back one of their largest member states from having an ambitious trade agenda, and have since kicked into overdrive to prove critics wrong. Senior EU officials told your active. The EU Commission chief will ask member states for a mandate to start a skew of new talks with partners across the globe as one of his key missions for 2018. Mr. Juncker is also expected to advocate some form of screening process for foreign investment in European companies to help assuage some free trade skeptics who feel globalization has gone too far. In recent months, even free market backing Germany has started to raise concerns about Chinese backed takeovers of big companies, including technology giants. But any move to shut off or quality control foreign investment into Europe will be interpreted by some as a sign of the bloc's growing protectionism and could make new trade agreements more difficult to secure in the future. Since the Brexit vote, the bloc has signed off on a trade deal with Canada, secured a political agreement for one with Japan and re-energized talks with big partners like Australia and Mercosur. But the UK has made big strides too with the US, Australia, New Zealand, Mexico and other major economies all expressing an interest in signing speedy post-Brexit agreements. Tuesday, July 25th. 2017 latest pictures as Britain's ministers started informal trade talks all over the world the pair are likely to be locked in an intense battle to secure trade deals with third parties in the future, but Brussels will have a head start as Britain cannot formally sign pacts until after it has left the club. And Eurocrats already won their first mini-battle this week after Mrs May appeared to concede that Japan should prioritize sealing a deal with the EU before focusing on ties with Britain. A government spokesman suggested the UK could even look to piggyback on trade work it has helped shape as an EU member, saying the bloc's proposed agreement with Japan is a pretty good basis for a similar one with Britain.